Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at Bricklink Designer Program Series 3. If you aren't familiar with the Bricklink Designer Program, it is a program where fans can submit their designs, and then every series, five sets are selected. And uh, pre-order started just about a week ago, and two have already sold out. For a stronghold sold out in like a few hours, followed by Camping Adventure. So we're going to be looking at all, all these sets because you still have a chance to pick up some of them. But we're just going to start out with these sold out ones just to get them out of the way because you yeah you, you can't get them anymore. Um, but yeah, For a Stronghold by Krakenator. I actually pre-ordered this one, so I'm pretty excited about it. If you pre-order a set, it won't get to you for about six months. But you also don't have to pay for it until it ships, so that's nice. This set really reminds me of the Lion Knight's Castle, and the Lion Knight's Castle is my favorite Lego set. So I was just, I was bound to like this one. The slit windows and the tops of the towers are specifically what really look like the Lion Knight's Castle. But yeah, it's supposed to be a, an old stronghold that was taken over by the forestmen after it was abandoned by either the... Black Falcon Knights or the Lion Knights, and you can see that's really run down and worn cracks and discoloration and um, life growing out of the walls and whatnot. A bunch of different trees. I like that they went with the black to match the the um, forestman stuff they've been doing recently, and I guess the original forestman stuff as well. It has an open back, which I don't mind. the The open back's not too bad. But the open side is kind of weird because I'm like, you can just place this uh, back facing the wall and then you can't see it. But then it's like, there had to be an open side too. I'm just like, yeah, I don't like the open side. Um, just because that makes it harder to like display or specifically harder to put in your Lego village. Um, so the inside is good though. Got a dining hall on the bottom. Food storage up here and then there actually is a little armory down here but you can't really see it very well it's kind of an empty room and we got the bedroom and then the the what is most people's famous most people's favorite room the uh, treasure room so there's a bunch of gold in there which i think looks really really good i'm excited to see it from all the different angles when i actually get to build this set i'm pretty hyped for it and then we got the different housing um, style pieces coming out, which is lo looks really good. Th this looks old too, with the shingles coming off. And these do separate, so you can display them separately if you want to. And the bridge, yeah, it can also yeah be removed from both of them. I'm definitely planning on keeping them together because I like the the big the big castle look. But you can do that if you want to. Alternate view, you know there. Taking the money from the Black Falcons. And then the minifigure lineup. Seven minifigures. Not seven minifigures. Seven forest men. Twelve minifigures. Seven forest men. Two just civilians, I guess. And then three Black Falcons. So twelve minifigures is pretty good. I think this is the set that has the most minifigures. And then, yeah, it, it went for $300 um, with 34 hundred pieces so yeah it it sold out quick this is really popular um camping adventures this is the other one that is sold out by king creations it's really cool i do think it looks really pleasing to the eye it is sad that probably like half of the pieces had to go to the base but it does look really good nonetheless um looks great from the back too like the vent on the top and then i love the water coming down there towels and whatnot a little bike there some animals cooking the marshmallow inside is pretty good too it's pretty small but i like the way it looks got the bed and then the kitchenette with some cabinets i wonder what's going to be in those and then they suggest that you have it with the A-frame cabin. My brother has the A-frame cabin, and I tried to convince him to to get this set, but he didn't want to. So looks like we're not going to have it for the channel. Um, I I blame Eli for that one. Um, two minifigures, which is, I guess, not that bad for a set that's only $55. But, yeah, they're pretty just generic. 
And up next, The Lost City. The least popular one, um, which is kind of surprising, but also kind of not. I'll, I'll explain in just a second, but 290, 3500. So more pieces than the Forest Stronghold and cheaper. But yeah, the roof is really good. I love the roof design. The tree coming out of the roof is also pretty exquisite. So it's like, um, kind of reminds me of Atlantis a little bit, um, even though it's not underwater. The in interior is very bare. I feel like that's one of the reasons that it is not as popular. There's a little room down here. I don't really know what that is or what's down there, but I feel like there's something in that crate. Um, the water looking like it's dripping down actually is pretty cool. Got a skeleton over there, and there's actually another skeleton yeah, right there by the gazebo, and then the gazebo is pretty good too. Got another look inside. Got the throne. You can kind of see the tree coming out the top. I really do like that tree. That is a cool design. And then you can, uh, there's some, some glass there looking through. Another look at the throne. And then only two minifigures. So like I was saying before, the reason that I think a lot of people didn't get this one is because there was only two minifigures. Um, and that's just, I think, not that exciting to people. Just too many figures and a not not a lot of an interior, I think, is the reason why this set was not as popular. But if you want to pick it up, it'll probably be available for a while because it's so um, hasn't made it very far. Um, Harbor Master's Office. This one's cool. Like I really do think it's a really good set. I wouldn't buy it just because it's not the theme I would want, but it looks really, really good. I really love this set, and it is modular. But the wooden dock, that looks great. I love the wooden dock. All the octan signs are, are cool. Reminds me of the Lego movie. Um, a little gas pump there is cool as well. And it's supposed to be like, this part's supposed to be underwater. That's why... The, the divers like floating there and the, the boats floating up. I, I think it's a cool idea, but it would make it hard to put in your Lego city unless you kind of removed some of those pieces and then the back more signs and whatnot. Looking pretty cool. Boat. And then, it like I said, it is modular and we get some views of the inside. The Harbor Master's office, I really like it. There's there's so much crammed in there. There's so many little details and stuff. I feel like that would be pretty fun to do. And I think a decent amount of those are prints. Not not all of them. That you can tell that TV is not a print. But some of them are prints. And this fishing pole piece, I don't even re remember that. That would be cool. Be cool to have. Um, upstairs, Harbor Master's bedroom. He sleeps with the fishes. Um, and yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I feel like there's probably more that you can't see from this angle, but I like the stairs. And this one, six minifigures, so not as good as the Forest Stronghold, but better than the Lost City. So we got Harbor Master himself, and then these two look like they're workers, and then the scuba diver, and just a couple of civilians hanging around, um, which this is $200, 2400 pieces, so a pretty good price. And it's getting pretty close to the limits. If you want to get this, you might want to get it soon. And then last up, The Art of Chocolate. Now, I really like this set. I didn't get it because I like Castle better, so I had to go with the Forest Stronghold. But this set, it lo just looks amazing. Like the angles with this window with and the angle over here and the curve across the top. It's like the way that they were able to make this with that not brickster but brickister that's the, the best i can do did a really great job at making this like there's just there's so much so many great details just all over like i don't even have time to, to go through all of them but this set just looks amazing the inside is looking really good too Got all the chocolate making machines hat rack maybe coat rack too um this is where they eat the chocolate and this is where they prepare the chocolate that's already been made 
And we get another good angle of the set, which just makes it look just as good. I love the chimneys. I'm I'm a big chimney Lego guy, especially in the medieval sets. But this set is just incredible. Like I'm very pleased with it. And then the back is great. Um, mini figures, seven mini figures, pretty good. Three cooks for visitors for chocolate eaters, um, all dressed for winter. Not as much this guy. He'll probably be warm enough. Um, and there we have five sets. Oh, by the way, that had like 2,600 pieces for 230. But that is all of the Bricklink Series 3 sets. Sorry if you wanted one of these and couldn't get it. But these three are still available. And you should probably get these two soon if you want them. This one, you still got a little bit of time. But let me know if you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you're going to pick up one of those sets or which one's your favorite. And, and lastly, please let me know if you want me to review Series 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have a great rest of your day.